All right, let's talk about the biggest shakeup in military aviation in decades. The race for air dominance just hit a new gear. Boeing has officially won the Air Force's next generation air dominance contract. That means the sixth generation fighter, now designated the F-47, is on the way. And trust me, this isn't just another jet. First off, the F-47 is designed to be virtually unseeable. Radar infrared electronic signatures the goal? To disappear from enemy sensors even as it streaks across the sky at speeds over Mach 2. But here's where things get wild. The F-47 won't be flying alone. Autonomous drone wingmen, basically robotic sidekicks that can scout ahead, jam enemy defenses, or even take a hit if things get dicey. This is the kind of tech that just a few years ago sounded like science fiction. Now let's talk numbers. Each F-47 is projected to cost around $300 million. That's a jaw-dropping price tag and it actually paused the whole program for a bit in 2024. But after a big review, the Air Force decided it was worth it. And manufacturing is already underway. The first flight is targeted for 2028, and when word broke that they'd won the contract, their employees literally cheered. But not everyone's convinced. Over in China, military experts are analyzing every detail they can find about the F-47. They admit it's a true 6th gen fighter with a tailless design and next-level features, but they're skeptical about Boeing's experience. After all, Boeing hasn't led a major fighter program in decades, some are calling the Air Force's bet on Boeing risky. Of course, the US isn't the only one racing ahead. China's already testing their own 6th gen prototypes. There are videos of mysterious jets flying over highways near Chengdu, and some of these new designs are huge, way bigger than the current J-20 stealth fighters. So, why does all this matter? The F-47 is being built with one region in mind, the Indo-Pacific. With a combat radius over 1,000 nautical miles, about 25% more than today's fighters. It's designed to operate far from home, deep into areas where rivals like China are expanding their reach. And it's not just about stealth or speed. The F-47's focus on spectral warfare means it can hide from sensors across the spectrum, radio infrared, even advanced detection systems we haven't seen in combat yet. At a recent conference, the Air Force Secretary even taunted Chinese analysts, basically saying, good luck figuring this one out. Bottom line, the F-47 isn't just a new plane, it's a symbol of the high-stakes race for air dominance between the US and China, and with both sides pushing the limits of technology, the sky's about to get a whole lot more interesting. So what do you think? Is the F-47 the future of air combat? Or is the real battle just getting started?